I'm Amanda Preston. I'm the Director of Music Production and Promotion for Davidson College. Part of my position, um, I'm responsible for maintaining Tyler Tallman Hall, um, and that includes the instruments, and we have two um, Steinway D pianos. So as part of the maintenance for pianos, which was a surprise to me when I took the job, um, you actually have to water them. So I remember when my predecessor was, you know, walking me through the steps of the job, and she, okay, now we have to water pianos, and I just looked at her and wondered if she misspoke. Changing humidity is what's going to cause the instrument to go out of tune far more than almost anything. It's, it's in some ways, it's, it's a mixture of a percussion instrument and a string instrument. It's based on, on strings being struck by hammers. When a key is played, essentially two things happen. One is a small hammer comes up and strikes up to three strings who are tuned to a specific frequency. And then there's a felt damper that normally rests on the key that pops up. And that lets this, those three strings vibrate freely. And they'll keep vibrating until you let go of the key, and then the felt damper comes back down, and that stops the vibrating string. A piano is built mostly out of wood, so humidity is going to to affect the, the instrument. What really affects it isn't so much the humidity itself, it's a change in humidity. And if the, the swings are dramatic, you can have damage such as cracked sounding board, or the moving parts can, can be pushed out of place. So this is what it looks like, and it feeds into um, the system and so that's where the water is stored so when you're watering the piano it's not like you're just flooding the pads with water but it just kind of stores it up and then as you as a piano needs it then it'll kind of release it for itself we have probably around 30 pianos in the building and most of those do have the hydration systems um, built in. It actually costs $160 every time we need to tune a piano. And so the way the hydration system works is it kind of extends um, the time that the tuning holds. So it keeps it in tune for longer. Obviously the, the sound of the instrument is dependent on the condition, if it's in tune or not. There's also the feel of the instrument, the action of the keys which has, it responds in a very tactile way. And so depending on how, how much it's cooperating or not cooperating, that can make a huge difference, both actually what comes out and also psychologically, if it, if it feels like it's cooperating or not. 